Hello there, it's uh, Jared Devro here from CleverMerchants.com. So this is the, the mini course that I've uh, decided to do called Shopify Print and Demand Tutorial for Beginners and this is the introduction video. So I would ask you please to uh, click the subscribe button so you get notified of the other videos and also if you like please um, to like the video as well because that kind of improves the you know gets uh, some more people watching the video okay so who am I my name is Jer Devereaux I'm from Dublin in Ireland and I've been a full-time entrepreneur since 2015 but I've been selling on and off online since 2004 because I have I've had a, an eBay account since 2004 and I, that's when I bought my first sort of eBay dropshipping course and uh, from what I can remember it didn't go too well and um, so <laughs> you know and you know when in 2015 when I when I lost my um, my full-time job I went f you know full-time into into this and I started off and um, doing retail arbitrage on Amazon and um, I done a small bit more on eBay and then I done a little bit with Mob, um, uh, and for for those of you who know what Mob is, then I don't need to <laughs> go into further, go into much more about that. But then, to me, then you know what I decided to do was, you know, when you know, I'd be honest with you, you know, Amazon FBA and at retail arbitrage and Amazon, you know, cost me an awful lot of money and time and a lot of heartache, to be honest with you. And the problem with selling on Amazon and eBay is is that there you know you've no kind of connection with the customers they're not your customers and you know you can't retarget them you can't form a relationship with them where you know and when I find you know I've, I've learned a lot over the last few years and I will be doing videos about you know how to sell online and building relationships building authority building becoming a you know an authoritative figure in your niche and um, that'll come later on but to me this is why I believe you know selling online if you want to go down that road and sell the e-commerce is, is a Shopify print on demand business is a, is a really good avenue to go down now it's not the only thing I do uh, you know Shopify is not the only thing I do I also uh, build funnels um, especially for lead magnet but also for e-commerce um, I believe messenger bots and um, Facebook messenger bots are a really really good way to sell your product to get your you know your product out there your brand out there um, and I you know marketing is also a skill that I have <coughs> and you know print on demand to me is a, is a viable long term business it's not one of these shiny objects that appears for a year or two and then disappears um, you know uh, retail arbitrage on Amazon was massive for two or three years and I was part of that and then it just burst um, for different reasons where I pr a print on demand is a you know on Shopify is a viable long-term business you know and I believe it will be here in 10 20 years time so it's not something that you know if you put a lot of effort into now oh my god it's gone next year that it will not be the case with this and I've been involved in e-commerce as I say on and off since 2004 and it is the best e-commerce business um, out there. Um, now if you have any questions after this video or, or throughout the course um, you can have a look at my website www.clevermerchants.com where I have a contact us page there or just email me jer at you know just <coughs> email jer info at clevermerchants.com right so moving on so what does this mini course cover so obviously we're going through the introduction the next video will be by, about niche research which is very very important then it'll be about you know choosing which niche suits you the best choosing a domain name for your Shopify store uh, social media and building your brand so creating social media pages around your brand and creating your store we're going to create a basic store and we're going to launch it and then we're going to go into what how you can drive traffic to your store 
so there's paid advertising but there's also organic traffic through Pinterest through through your social media accounts so why e-commerce because at the end of the day Shopify print on demand is an e-commerce business so 80% of American adults have purchased online at some stage right so whether they've only done it once or they do it regularly that's a massive when you think about 80% of American adults have purchased online at some stage and e-commerce sales increase year by year people will spend roughly 3.5 trillion online in 2019 I'm making this video on January the 21st 2020 obviously the figures for 2019 are not known yet but it's estimated that people will spend roughly 3.5 trillion online last year and that is just unbelievable amount of money and it's estimated that this year 2020 people will spend more than 4 million right and you know it's just going to keep increasing and increasing by 2040 95 percent of all purchases will be e-commerce uh, you know in the next 20 years this is just going to get even bigger and one of the reasons why it, it keeps getting bigger and bigger is because of you know mobile phones the technology that we have on the phones and when I think back to my first phone 21 years ago with it, that could just you know receive and make calls you know couldn't even do texting on it well, look at what they can do now you know and you know, people are, are it's mad to think that people are actually online now on their phone more than laptops where a few just a few years ago that would have been unheard of so it's only going to get bigger so why Shopify because there is other e-commerce platforms some people sell on WordPress some people use uh, WooCommerce there's Wix there's, uh, there's other you know people just say I know I'm going to just sell on Amazon I'm just going to sell on eBay so why Shopify right well first of all it's trusted by by over 1 million businesses and there's, there's good reasons for that so if you you know go down the road of setting up a, a Shopify store it comes with very beautiful teams you know that make your store you know suit whatever niche you have there's a team that suits it, you know, and it makes your store really professional looking. Um, it's their Shopify is trusted by payment processors, so you know, obviously, when you set up your store, you're going to want people to buy from you, right? So, you, people can use their credit cards, people can use PayPal. So, the more options you give people, then the more chance you have of making a sale. And Shopify has that. People can use their credit cards, people can use their PayPal, and you know. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't take an awful lot on your end just to, to click and sign up for that. You know, it's it's very very easy to to do. One of the very you know one of the major things I found with my experience at Shopify is, you know, it's easiness to link to your social media accounts, and you can basically people can buy from you on Facebook and on Instagram. You know, and that's that's amazing. You know, so people can you know are strolling through or having a look through your your Facebook page or Instagram page see the items for sale and go oh I didn't even know he was selling them click on it bring it to the store and buy and purchase from you Instagram you, you know you can you can actually put up a picture of an item that you're selling uh, they can click on the picture and it brings them to your store if you have 10,000 followers or more you can do the swipe up feature sorry swipe up feature this allows you to put up a picture or a video you can actually ask people swipe up to get 10% off or 20% off and it brings them directly to that item for them to purchase like it's just the amount of traffic you can drive to your store organically and by advertising is is, is brilliant and you have access to an array of apps Shopify has literally hundreds of apps that you can add you know uh, currency converters and um, you know add to cart sort of where you know people abandon the cart for whatever reason you can get an app that actually you know chases them down so to speak now some of these apps are paid and um, some of them are free 
Um, I go through that a little bit later on, you know, in another video. But for the moment, you know, just letting you know that there is loads of apps that improve the customer experience on the on, on the site, and also there's apps that help you get more sales. So the basic package for Shopify is at at the time of me making this video is twenty nine ninety five per month. Um, you know, which is very very good value. And if you sign up uh, with my referral link underneath this video, you get two weeks free. Um, but don't sign up just yet because we have some other things just to talk about. So we've decided to go down e-commerce, we've decided to use Shopify, but why print on demand? Because it's not the only e-commerce business you can do on Shopify. You can do you can do an AliExpress dropshipping business, you can just do you know drop shipping where you um you know contact wholesalers and suppliers and list their items on your site when it sells you make the order with your supplier and they ship it to the customer and you know if you do find wholesalers and warehousing that could be a very good business to get involved in i don't recommend the aliexpress version because of the long shipping times and sometimes the the quality of the items that's been sent out but you know pr the print on demand business is something you know that we can all if we do our niche research properly is can it's a very very good business to get involved in there is no inventory costs and that's one of the major pluses of this when i was doing amazon fba you know you had to buy in bulk send it into amazon and you no guarantee it would sell so i was you know buying items on Walmart, shipping them in, then a hundred other people would do the same and then I wouldn't be able to sell the items. I was getting my own items made in China through AliExpress, no it's not Ali, Alibaba, getting them sent into the Amazon FBA and then it just wouldn't sell. You know, and or Amazon would come in and undercut you, you know, so Inventory, no inventory costs, trust me on that, is a massive, massive no-brainer. It is a huge plus for any business. There is a ton of good suppliers connected to this business um, that I will be able to you know, tell you when we're, we're setting up the store. Or you can email me and I'll, and I'll tell you them. But at the moment, that's not what we're going to be getting through at the moment, but just letting you know there is some very, very good suppliers connected to this business that you just add their app to your store and it gives you access then to, to their items to sell so you then get your design so just say for instance um, you decide to sell um, a, a, some sort of dog like a, a, a bulldog say right and your, your, your passionate niche is a, a, a bulldog or whatever maybe that's a mad um, one to use but whatever your niche it could be a football team right so you're look your could be the LA Galaxy or whatever and you get a really good design done you then add the app of your supplier to your store and then you can add that design to their products it really it, it's brilliant and you know I don't know if any of you are, are know of Russell Brunson I'm, I'm sure some of you listening will know him he has a saying you're only one funnel away you know and that basically means you're only one funnel away to becoming a millionaire and you know it's the same with this business you're only one design away you know if you test a few designs and find one that really really resonates with with, with your customers you know you're you're away you know, like it's happened to me I remember doing a design on a watch and that watch started selling really really well and I said well I know wonder would that do okay on t-shirts yeah, sure enough, people started buying on t Now, T-shirts have been hit and miss because people said, oh, I bought the wrong size. But I stuck it on jewellery as well, and guess what? They were buying that design on the jewellery as well. So you really are only one design away. Jewellery, apparel, you know, like T-shirts, jumpers, hooded you know, hoodies, um, hooded blankets, signage like uh, wall art, um phone covers sell very well and there's others there's mugs there's pillows there's blankets uh, duvet covers there curtains 
you know, your the list of potential items is, is is unreal. And you only pay for the items when they sell. So again, no money up front. You pay your monthly fee to Shopify and you know some apps are paid but starting off you don't have to get them you know so your team will be free and um, your apps will be free at the start and it gives you you know you know an array of, of items or products to sell and you only then so you will sell an item then you will have to pay the supplier so you know if you sell a piece of jewelry for 50 you might have to give the supplier 20 or 30 whatever you have decided to sell and it is really the best e-commerce business on the planet it really is the Shopify print on demand business is brilliant and it's, it's a long term right it's a long term viable business but and this is the big but you need to do your niche research first and that is very 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 important it's the biggest mistake that people do in e-commerce not just print on demand but any e-commerce business it's the biggest mistake that people make and the amount of people I've seen you know and I've kind of done it myself is where you think because you're passionate about something that everybody else will and oh yeah I'll just create a store I'll put a few products up and loads of people will buy that's not how it works yeah you have to do your niche research and that's what the next video is okay so I I, I really really uh, recommend that before you sign up to Shopify that you do the next video and I know that might sound a bit mad you know because if you sign up to Shopify using my referral link in this video and you pay Shopify some money I will get a little bit uh, of a, a payment for that because of my referral link. You don't get charged any extra by the way but I will make some money out of that and so it might be a bit weird for me to say this but I would advise you not to sign up just yet because I want you to get the most out of the free two weeks that you will get and you at the very very least need to do the niece research first and the amount of people that skip that part they you know spend an awful lot of time doing up their store I've seen people actually hire somebody to to do up their store and then realize that oh I didn't do any research here and you know my passion for I don't know giraffes is not shared by millions of people and definitely not people who want to buy products in relation to that because they're two separate things passionate niche is one thing will people in the, do the, do people in that passion niche do they buy products to, in relation to that niche and uh, the two of them have to be the same and so that's why <laughs> I advise you to do the next video and again if you have any questions email me at info at clevermerchants.com